In the next example, we're going to use the program we made in the previous video to generate bullish signals and display it directly on the price panel instead of in a separate panel below the chart. We're also going to add potential profit target and stop loss levels if a position was open when the bullish signal was given. Again, this is just a sample program for learning purposes and should not be used for real trading. In order to display the result on the price panel directly, we have to have it output values that are close to the current price. So for example, using signal equal one is not going to work with the scale of our chart that we have here. So instead of displaying the signal on the level one, we could, for example, display the signal on the low of the current candlestick. So, for example, say instead of signal equals one, we could say signal equals low. Now to add this indicator directly to the price panel, let's click here on the wrench next to the price panel. Choose add indicator and then select the indicator we've just created here. And we can see that the signals are going to be shown directly on the chart. Instead of a big bar to show the signal, we can change that. Let's choose style points, for example, and use a large point to show the entry. And we can change the color here, for example, to blue to show a position entry. It's also possible to use Pro Builder instructions to actually add arrows to the chart, but that's not the goal of this video, so we'll look at that another time. When the signal is triggered, we're going to create a new variable called stop loss. Let's do that here. We can enter stop loss equals say I want to define my stop loss at the lowest point of the 10 previous bars. So for that, the instruction would be lowest 10 applied to the low. So this instruction here gives us a stop loss in our example program at the lowest point of the 10 previous bars. Let's also add that to the chart. Click Add Indicator to Chart to save. And we see the line shown here on the price chart materializing example stop loss points. Let's also change the style of that stop loss indicator by clicking here. We choose the stop loss here. We can make that bit of a thicker line. We can make it dotted and display it in red. Note also that we did not reset the stop loss to zero in the else instruction. That's because we want this line to continue on and not disappear after the initial bar where the condition is verified. We also see in the chart that when a new signal is generated, like here, then both of the signal is added and the stop loss level is defined. Now let's create a profit target in addition. For example, we could set that profit target equal to twice the distance between the close price and the stop level above the close price. For that, we could use an instruction like this, target profit equals close plus in parentheses, close minus stop loss times two. So here we have the difference between the close and the stop loss. This is twice that difference and that's going to be above the close price. So we want twice this distance above the close price. And to add that to the chart, we also added in the return line here. 
and then click Add Indicator to Chart. We can also modify the style of this line. For example, we could make it thicker, make a dotted line, and set it to green to show the intention of the line. So if you have any questions, there's a private forum available to users of the Pro Real Code training program. Don't hesitate to ask your questions there on Pro Real Code. Uh, at the end of the training program on the Pro Real Code site, there will also be a quiz available to test your knowledge and validate what you have learned. I hope this training program was helpful to you and that the future video series will also be helpful as well.